Hi, I'm Stephen Dodge. I'm the founder of Regular, and Regular is a platform to provide on-demand personalized experiences anywhere for those who want it. Our team started Regular uh, early last year with the dream of creating the next generation of the in-store customer experience. Um, and that was by one, empowering staff to treat every customer like they're a regular. And two, uh, empowering customers to take control of their experiences in store. And so our strategy has never been the typical find a painful problem and, and solve it. Uh, we fall into a small subset of companies uh, like Airbnb that are solving for market inefficiencies rather than obviously painful problems. Uh, you know, Airbnb solves for something called economies of scope. Um, and similarly, we are solving for something called asymmetric information, which basically means I know something and you don't, and that causes issues. And so for brick and mortar businesses, when someone walks through the door, that person has expectations, they have needs that staff people don't know about. And even if that customer say has been there a dozen times and someone does know, uh, maybe that customer interacts with a new person or they go to a different location this one time and therefore they have to start from square one. Again, I know something, you don't, and that causes issues. And so Regular was designed to facilitate, uh, you know, this critical information exchange between consumers and retailers in store, in real time, uh, just as online currently does um, using internet cookies. You know, if you could just take a internet browser and just kind of lay it over community, um, you know, your local business community, that's, that's what we envision. That's what we want to build. Um, and so we do this by way of consumers. They use the regular mobile app to manage their data, the payment method, and personal preferences. And in turn, they can opt in to which retailers, restaurants, businesses, um, you know, communities, or by, uh, by certain um, genre, um, and who they share this information with for these hyper-personalized experiences uh, the moment they walk in the door. And on the other hand, retail staff, um, with our retail uh, POS integration, they receive real-time push notifications containing this customer information um, on their POS or their device of choice, smartphone, watch, whatever. Um, and so they can greet and then tailor the experience to the individual customer's liking. Um, you know, for businesses, regular easily integrates with POS systems. Um, enables a, uh, a really seamless way for employees to access uh, this key preference data um, that their customers, maybe it's a new customer, repeat customer, um, and ultimately we hope that it helps them deliver better service and experiences um, that you know, typically aren't possible the moment you walk in the door. Um, we leverage data at the door, not after a transaction. And so consumers, again, with the regular mobile app, follow what we like to call a bring your own data model. Um, this is basically enabling an on-demand influence over your in-store experience with this regular mobile app. Um, and this model, um, the reason we did it this way is that it enables all of the members of the network, both consumers and retailers and businesses, um, to benefit from the data that the consumer decides to share access to as both the mobile app and the PS integration aggregates and kind of blends this data uh, together over time. And, you know, we saw these impressive network effects uh, during our six month pilot here in Richmond. Um, you know, we saw people uh, opting in and going to different locations um, that we were partnered with uh, just because they knew that they would get some level um, or at least had some level of expectation in, in regards to the uh, customer experience they would get when they walked in the door. Um, and that was really cool to see, and that's why we're trying to keep building. Um, and this is why, you know, we've also built regular, you know, from the ground up uh, to specifically capitalize on these mega trends of customer, um, you know, data privacy by letting people opt in, um, hyper personalization by letting people leverage their data at the door, um, contactless payment by letting people have a preferred payment method and just pay their tab and go, um, and the experiential economy, you know, for these social and um, you know, type of environments and business environments that, um, you know, do require more of a hands-on approach, um, like a boutique hotel or a restaurant or a high-end retailer. Um, and so combining our technology um, and our world-class team, uh, we know Regular can truly create better human experiences in the future. And any way that we do cut this, uh, we know that this is a very large market and the appetite for these type of experiences um, from both consumers and businesses 
um, you know, it's very large um, as companies look to differentiate themselves and to continue delivering better customer experiences um, and thus all, you know, ultimately requires data. Um, and so regular, you know, again, we're leveraging data at the door, not after the transaction um, and after the customer experience is over. Uh, we're providing a one to many relationship for consumers with businesses via our one mobile app. Um, and again, this provides a level of convenience, but also a level of detail when and where the customer wants it. Um, and something that hasn't been possible before. Um, and we think this is what really differentiates our platform um, from the repeated models and offerings that the market has offered for so long. Um, and yeah, so why we really wanna be a part of the next few ventures, um, we, we just really appreciate the approach that, you know, and the values that next few venture has, you know, from our, from our research and from us, uh, you know, looking at your previous investments and um, just kind of you know, digging around, you know, we are coming to you as we see your team's approach to just early stage companies like ours. Um, it's, it's refreshing and we feel like you're the right partners as we, we kind of wrap up the V1 of our development um, for this platform. And, you know, we're looking to, you know, successfully launch with strategic partners and our go-to market plan. Um, you know, we want to be able to have the right partners, which, again, we really think is next few ventures. Um, your team seems like the perfect fit. Um, and it'll only increase the value of our existing partnerships with, um, you know, like Oracle uh, Global Startup Ecosystem, um, Dig Nation, um, Stanford Peace Innovation Lab. Um, and a couple others, you know, we have, we have a lot of really good existing partners and we really see next few ventures as a team that understands our, both our unique model, um, and appreciates, you know, the approach we're taking, even with the risk involved, um, and, you know, and given those risks, the opportunity to truly create meaningful relationships and experiences in our communities, um, and between businesses and consumers, um, just between all of us as humans, um, is a very rewarding journey and the end result can be something that is, you know, what we think is really, truly amazing. Um, and we hope you would join us as we look to transform the in-store um, customer experience. Um, as again, as we see these, these lines blur and everything kind of become omni-channel, but we hope that both consumers and employees um, in this increasingly digital um, and technological driven world, um, you know, have something to, uh, you know, combat this with and uh, hopefully come out come out just um, as better humans. So yeah, hope to talk to you all soon and we really appreciate it. Thanks.